Hello everybody, this is Crystal. Today I'm going to show you how to make this hat. Now this hat is special as you've seen from the thumbnails. It's made with the glow in the dark yarn. It's stinking cool. I, like, I say at the end it really don't get much cooler than that for me. But I mean, I think it's awesome. So this is an adult size hat. It should fit between 21 and 22 inch size head. It's approximately 7 to 7 and a half inches long there. Um, you can make it longer if you want to add more rows at the bottom. That's totally up to you. You know what? I'm going to measure that just to give you a very precise estimate. That was a guess. So, better make sure I'm correct. Yeah. Seven and a half inches. That's actually about what it is. Seven and a half. Yep. That was a pretty good guess, I guess. So, what do you guys think? I think it's cool. I think it's super cool so cool i can't wait to wear it even not glowing in the dark i think it's a pretty cool striped striped hat super easy to make if you're a beginner you can do double crochet single crochet chain slip stitch you can do it easy let's go ahead and get started and i'm going to show you what yarns that i used so for this project to make the glow i used do it yourself glow by lion brand now this i found on eBay on Lion Brand's eBay store. I will put a link to that below in the description box. It is not an affiliated link. I do not get money if you buy this yarn. I don't care if you buy it. I'm only telling you where I found it. So, and you don't even have to use this yarn. That's completely up to you. But if you want the glow, the cool factor, this is the yarn to get. So it is a medium weight number four. So um, any medium weight number four will work for this hat. There are 71 yards per ball and it probably took me, I had to break out another ball, but not very much. It probably took me about 85 yards of the white of my main color. It is a 100% polyester, but like I said, if you don't want to buy this, any medium weight number four will work. And then I'm using, for the black, I used Caron Simply Soft, which is also a, one, a medium weight number four. It is a 100% acrylic. Remember, you can make this any colors that you want. You do not have to use the yarns that I use, but you do uh, you need to use four, four weight yarns. Now, there's 315 yards per ball. Now, of the black of the striped color, I probably used about... Uh, maybe 40 yards just to be safe on that probably not even that but that's just being um, Making sure and then I'm going to be using a size I which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook Okay Now I put this brown paper down here so you can see my white yarn better I apologize if it makes my video look a little bit darker, but it's impossible to see white yarn on my white desk So I always do this so no one has trouble seeing my white yarn Okay, so we're going to start off with the slip knot on our hook, as always. And let's work a chain of three. Now you, we're going to slip stitch in the first stitch to form a ring. Now you can use the magic circle here if you prefer. I don't know how to do that. Well, I'm not very good, so I do it this way. There we go. Now what we're going to do is chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a double crochet. It doesn't count as a stitch at all. So we'll just pretend like it's not there. We're going to be working through the center of the ring and we're going to work 12 double crochets through that ring. Once you get that first one in there, the ring opens up a bit more so you'll be able to see it better. So there's one double we're going to work a total of 12. There's two. Three. Four. All right, I have my 12 double crochets here. Now, if you pull your tail, it should close up that center circle a little bit more. And then later on, we can sew it together the rest of the way. 
So I got my 12 doubles and we're going to go ahead and end round one by slip stitching into the first double crochet. Not that chain one, remember it does not count as a stitch. And that will end round one. Round two we are going to chain one, does not count as a stitch. We're going to work right back there into that same spot that we just slip stitched into, right there. And we're going to work two double crochets into that spot. So there's one. And there's two. Now we're going to work around our, our piece. And we're going to be working two double crochets into every stitch. So I'll go to my next one. And I'm going to work two double crochets. So there's two in that stitch. We're going to move to our next one, and we're going to work two double crochets, just like that. So that's the repeat for round two. It's two doubles in every stitch until you make it back to your starting point. Just like that. So can continue around putting two double crochets in every stitch till you get back to the beginning. All right, I've come to the end of round two and now you should have a total of 24 stitches. Let's go ahead and end that round by slip stitching into our first double crochet. Just like that. And now we're gonna start round three. Round three, we will chain one, which again does not count as a stitch. We will work right back into that same spot there that we just slip stitched into and we're going to put one double crochet into that stitch and then the next stitch will put two double crochets into it so there's one and two now that's the repeat for round three the next stitch we will put one double crochet into and the next stitch we will put two double crochets into one double into the next stitch and two doubles into the next so we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around of one double, two double, one double, two double, all the way around until we get back to our starting point. All right, I've come to the end of round three. Your last stitch should have had two double crochets in it, and now you should have a total of 36 stitches. So let's go ahead and end round three by slip stitching into our first double crochet. Now let's start round four by chaining one. Remember, doesn't count as a as a stitch and we're going to go back into that very first stitch again and we're going to put one double crochet and now we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch and then the next stitch we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch so that is a repeat for round four. We put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one, one, and then the next one will get two doubles into the same stitch. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around one double one double two doubles one double one double two doubles all the way until we get to the end of round four okay i've made it to the end of round four again your last stitch should have had two double crochets into it and now you should have a total of 48 stitches so let's go ahead and end the round by slip stitching into our first double crochet and we will start round five we're going to chain one doesn't count as a stitch slip stitch or double crochet I'm sorry one double crochet right back in that same stitch and then we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches 
So there's one and two. So counting that first double crochet and then the two that we just did, we have three double crochets in a row. So our next stitch will get two doubles into the same stitch. And that will be the repeat for round five. One double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So there's one, two, three, and then two doubles into the next. So you want to go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way around. One double, one double, one double, two. One double, one double, one double, two. All the way around until you get back to the end of round five. All right, I come to the end of round five. You should have again ended in two double crochets into your last stitch. You should have a total of 60 stitches now. Let's go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet. I'm going to do one more round of increases. So round six, we are going to chain one. And we're going to go right back into that very first stitch and double crochet. Now we're going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches. So there's one, oops, two, and three. So counting that very first double crochet, we have four double crochets in a row. And now our next stitch will get two doubles into the same stitch. And that will be the repeat for round six. One double crochet into the next four stitches. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then our next stitch will get two doubles into the same stitch. So there's one and two. So that's the pattern we're gonna repeat for round six. A one double into the next four and two doubles into the next. Repeat that all the way around until you get to the end of round six. All right, I've come to the end of round six. Also, again, you should have ended the round with two double crochets into your last stitch. And now you'll have a total of 72 stitches. Go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet. And I'm going to take a quick measurement of this is the crown of my hat. Some people have asked me if I would measure this. It's about seven and a quarter inches across. So what I'm going to do now is for round, um, you should have total 72 stitches there at the end of round six. So for round seven, what I'm going to do now is chain one. I'm going to go back into that same stitch as always and double crochet. And now I'm just going to be working rounds of one double crochet in every stitch. So I won't be increasing this hat um, anymore. It's just one double crochet in every stitch around. until we get back to our starting point. But we're going to continue around putting one double crochet in every stitch until we get back to our starting point. Just like that. Okay, I've come, once you make it to the end of uh, round seven, you should still have your 72 stitches and you want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet. Now what you want to do is repeat round seven one more time. So for round eight, you'll just chain one, double crochet back into the same stitch and double crochet in every stitch around. So round eight is a repeat of round seven. So you want to go ahead and do that. One double crochet in every stitch until you get back to your starting point. All right, I have made it to the end of round eight, 72 stitches still. I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. I am going to change colors here. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I thought 
uh, it would add uh, some cool interest. It was actually Mr. Bod, Mr. Bag o Day, my husband's idea. So I, when I change colors, I tie off. You change, you know, you can change however you want. So I'm gonna add some black, a couple black stripes in mine. So when it glows in the dark, it, I think it'd be kind of cool. I don't know. You can keep going with the same color if you want. So I'm gonna start in the same spot that I just left off in, and I'm gonna bring in my black color. And I will try to hide these tails as I go, so I don't have to sew them in later. No one likes to sew tails in. Okay, so we're gonna chain one. Now I'm gonna do rows of single crochet. So I'm gonna go back into that same stitch and single crochet. Remember that chain one that we did does not count as a stitch. So there's a single crochet. And I apologize, I know black is hard to see, but it is going to be just single crochet. I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch around. This is round nine until I get back to my starting point. Just like this. So one single in every stitch until you make it to the end of round nine. All right, I have come to the end of round nine and I still have 72 stitches. So, you know, that's what I'm gonna have for a little while. That's always, okay. So I am going to use a stitch marker here and I'm going to place it right here after my last stitch. Now I'm going to be work, working continual rounds of single crochet. So I'm not going to end by slip stitching into this first single crochet that we made. I'm just gonna go right into it. We have our stitch marker so we know where we end and we know where we begin. I'm gonna go right into that first single crochet, not the chain one, the first single crochet, and I'm going to single crochet into it. And now I'm gonna work again. I'm gonna repeat round nine. I'm gonna work for round 10, one single crochet in every stitch around. This way, this is uh, making it where when your yarn glows, you will not see this black. You will only see the white glowing yarn. I thought it would be kind of cool, but remember, you didn't have to do this. You could make it all the same color. But I'm gonna continue around, working one single crochet for round 10. I'm doing the same, repeating what I did on round nine until I get back to my starting point or to my stitch marker. All right, I have made it to the end of round 10. 72 stitches still, I'm at my stitch marker. Gonna move my stitch marker up and for round 11, I'm just going to repeat round 10 again. One single crochet in every stitch around, just like we did on round 10. So round 11 is a repeat of round 10, and I'm going to do that until I get back to my stitch marker. All right, I have made it to the end of round 11. I'm at my stitch marker, uh, 72 stitches still. So what I'm gonna do now is stop with the single crochet, I'm gonna slip stitch into the next stitch after my stitch marker, and I'm gonna tie this black off. Move that stitch marker out of the way, and I'm gonna clip this yarn. Now I'm gonna go back to my white. All right, so what I'm gonna do now for rounds 12 and 13, they will be the same. Go ahead and start your yarn there. Um, just anywhere where you left off here. At the back. And I'll try to hide them tails as I go. It's always a good idea. So, round, like I said, round um, 12 and 13. Rounds 12 and 13 are going to be the exact same. What we're going to do is chain one. Go back into the same stitch and double crochet. 
So now we're going to do two rounds of just regular double crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to work around putting one double crochet in every stitch. We are on round 12. When we make it to the end of round 12, we'll have 72 stitches still. And we will end just like we did the other double crochet round by slip stitching into our first double crochet. Then we will chain one and then we will start double crocheting again, repeating round 12 for round 13. So round 12 and 13, one double crochet in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. I'm on round 12 now, and then I'm going to do round 13. I'll, I, I will continue to have 72 stitches, and I'll meet back up with you after I've finished out round 13. All right, I just finished round 13 and I went ahead and slip stitch into my first double crochet. 72 stitches still. I'm going to clip my yarn and go back to my black. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. Three rows of single crochet again. So, round 14. I'm going to start somewhere right here in the back with my other color. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go back into that same stitch. Single crochet. Now I will put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. So around 14, 15, and 16 are repeats of round 9, 10, and 11. So it's three rounds of single crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and do my three rounds of single crochet. I'll be using my stitch marker just like I did for rounds 9, 10, and 11. And I'm going to continue. For, I'm on round 14 now, 15, and 16. After I'm done with round 16, I'll meet back up with you. You'll always have 72 stitches still at the end of your row. So three rounds, single crochet. Meet back up with you after I get that finished. All right, I've made it to the end of round 16. 72 stitches still. Move out my stitch marker and slip stitch into the next stitch. And now I'm going to tie that color off. I'm going to go back to my white. All right, so round 17. You can start anywhere here in the back that you'd like in any stitch. It's going to be a row of double crochet. So I am going to chain one and like that and double crochet back into the same stitch. And for round 17, it's just going to be one double crochet in every stitch around. Just like this. So I'm going to continue around putting one double crochet into every stitch until I make it back to my starting point. All right, I made it to the end of round 17 and 72 stitches still. Now, I ended with a slip stitch into my first double crochet. I'm going to do round 18 will be my last round. It's going to be my finishing round and I'm going to do it in my same color here. So I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go back into that same stitch that I slip stitched into and single crochet. 
and I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch around. So this will be my last round, my finishing row. It's one single in every stitch until you make it back around. This is round 18. When you make it back to the beginning, just go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet and tie off your yarn and hide any remaining tails. You can actually try the hat on and if you want it longer, you can do another round of single crochet. If you prefer it shorter, you can leave this round off. Short hat. I like mine to be a little bit uh, on the longer side, so it's my preference on a hat. But I'm going to continue around one single crochet in every stitch until I make it to the end of round 18. I'll have 72 stitches. I will slip stitch into my first single crochet. I will tie off and hide any remaining tails that are left on the hat. And then we'll be finished. All right, there it is. You might wonder what this is gonna look like in the dark. You guys wanna try it out? Let me hold it up to my fluorescent lighting for a second. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Of course, you already know because you've seen the thumbnail pictures in the beginning. But I haven't. I, I don't put them on until after the video, so I don't really know what it's gonna look like. But we can try. I'll turn off some of my lights and check it out. So you need to hold it under the fluorescent lighting for a bit to get it activated. You guys ready? <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I hope you enjoyed my video. That's so that's awesome. That is one cool yarn. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You got to give it a thumbs up for your coolness, even if you didn't like the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check me out on Instagram where you can hashtag Bag Day Crochet and show me all your crochet items. There's a link to that below in the description box. Also, uh, check out all the other tutorials there on that playlist. I'm going to put on the right side of the screen. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everybody, for watching. This is as cool as it gets. Don't get much cooler than that for Bag Day. Hey, but I'm easily amused. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Stay safe. Hey, everybody. It's Mr. Bod from Bag Day Crochet. And today, I'm going to show you how to navigate Crystal's channel. First, you want to go to the main YouTube page. Next, you want to type Bag Day Crochet in the search blank and click search. Scroll down till you find the channel. There's Crystal, Bag Day Crochet. If you haven't subscribed, click subscribe. Click the bell. Click all to receive all notifications every time she uploads a video. Click on Bag Day Crochet. Here we are. Follow her on Instagram. Follow on Facebook. Visit the Etsy shop to find great patterns. Follow on Pinterest. Click videos to find all of the great Bag Day Crochet videos. Yarn hauls, tutorials, unboxings. Click playlists. Everything's organized so it's easy to find, and I'm sure you'll find something that you love. Welcome to our wonderful community, and as always, happy crocheting.